Today I want to ask you a question. Do you love God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind? If I am right now just to ask you to evaluate your life and answer honestly, in an honest, honest way, deeper when it's such in your heart, do you love God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind? Because that's what the Lord is looking for. The Lord is looking for people who are loving Him. The people who have a deeper love relationship with God. God has been pursuing people from generation to generation. God has continued pursuing people so that they can begin a love relationship with Him. Because our Christian life and our Christian experience will depend on the quality of relationship we have with God. And I want to ask you something, and I, and I just want to give you this, um, just, uh, this, just this example here. If you have a girlfriend or you have a boyfriend and you love that person, do you spend time with them to love them or you spend time with them because you love them? Because when we start thinking about our relationship with God, we don't pray to know God. We pray because we know God. We don't spend time to know God. We spend time because we know God. When you love God, you will not struggle spending time with Him. When you love God, you will not struggle praying to Him. Because your love for Him will drive these other things into place. Your love for God will drive you into a place whereby you want and desire to have a deeper, in-depth conversation with Him. You, you will not struggle having a devotion. I meet with people and they ask me, how do you really, really have a consistent de de devotion? And I tell them it's not a formula. It's a relationship. When you start having a relationship with Christ, then it sets everything else into place. And my challenge to you today is this. Have a deeper relationship with God. Get to a place whereby you can say, I truly, truly love God with all my heart, with all my soul, and with all my mind. In other words, everything about me is about loving God. Because when we start loving God in that way, we start experiencing something new. We start experiencing God. People are right now pursuing God for miracles. They are pursuing God for what God will give them. They are pursuing God for what God can do for them. It is so, it's a transactional relationship. But that's not what God desires from us. The first and the greatest commandment Jesus says is, is it is you love the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul and with all your mind. It's not a formula. It is a relationship. You can only say you love someone this way if you have a deeper relationship with him. Again, I want to ask you, as we finalize the year 2020, do you love God? Can you say that you actually love God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind? And as we are looking forward to stepping into 2021, I want you to desire this deep and in-depth relationship with God. I want you to desire something beautiful, something deeper, that the only thing that you want as you're getting into 2021, it is a deeper relationship with God. Not for what God will give you on what not for what you'll get from God but having a deeper relationship with God is by knowing him by wanting and desiring to know him we want to move from transactional relationship into an in-depth relationship whereby you love God let me ask you again can you say that you love God with all your heart with all your soul and with all your mind and if you say that you actually don't love him that way, then your Christian experience is really, really in trouble. Because there are things that will happen in your life that if you don't love God this way, they will divert you from that love. They will sweep you out. They will give you ideas. They will give you things that will draw you away from God. Because when you have a relationship that is not in that level, then it is easily, and you can easily 
be diverted with ideas, be diverted with experiences. That's why people go through a tough experience or a painful experience and they, you know, they hate God. But when you have a deeper relationship, you will understand these three things. One is that everything that God does is expressed in love. Everything that God says and God does, it's an expression of love. Whatever thing you're experiencing right now, if you truly, truly love the Lord, it is an expression of God's love. This is what he says in Romans. He says that all things will work out for your good, for those who love the Lord, for those who are called. That in other words, when you have this deeper relationship, you understand that your life is all about loving him. And maybe some of you are looking at me and wondering, how do I really get there? How do I have that kind of a relationship with him? It starts with a desire. It starts with a desire to wanting that. And then the next step, it is you now having pursuing him, going deeper, asking the Holy Spirit to help you have that deeper relationship. Call unto him. Jeremiah 33, 33 says, call unto me and I will answer you. And I will show you things, unsearchable truth. And I want you right now to allow the Holy Spirit to get into that deep relationship with him. A deep relationship with him that, he, that will awaken you into a new reality of experiencing and seeing what God sees. Experience what God experiences. And as you step out, you are able to identify God's will in your life. Because when you grow deeper into God's love, God starts showing you the deep secrets of God. And today, if you desire that relationship, it starts with a desire. After that, you start asking the Holy Spirit to help you grow into that relationship. And I'm guaranteeing you this, that your life would be changed if we get into 2021 with this mindset. Move away from transactional relationships and get into a love relationship with God, and you'll see your life changed forever. Allow me to pray with you this morning. Our dear everlasting Father, we're grateful for this opportunity you have given us to connect this way. I pray for my brother and my sister right now, as he and she desires God, a deep and love relationship with you, that you will release a new grace over their lives right now. That the Holy Spirit, God, will penetrate their hearts and connect their soul, their spirit with your spirit, Lord. And Father, you do draw them into a deeper relationship with you. That as we get into 2021, that we'll have a deeper love relationship with you, Lord. Because that is what you desire as our God. And I thank you right now. And I pray that your, your, your glory and for your joy, Lord, that we'll be able to experience this in Jesus' name. Amen. Child of God. You can have that and desire it and go out after it. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye. See you next week.